Hello dearies, welcome. It's Kelly from the Book of Moons and uh, I'm just noticing that um, my tarot case there in the background, you may remember I did an organization project a while back, a video about that, and it's definitely looking like it's time for another organization. <laughs> it's the way it goes. But um, anyway, I thought I would pop on today and say hello. I don't, uh, as you may have noticed, normally show my face on camera because I hate being on camera, but it's been a while. And in the spirit of the holiday season, I wanted to wish you all a merry Yuletide. I hope you are enjoying the season, despite the craziness happening in the world. I am making the best of it, and I hope you are too. Um, and something small like this really helps. <laughs> I've been waiting for this deck for so long, or get, waiting to get my hands on it for a really, really, really long time. It's hard to find, and when it, I do come across it's often very expensive. It is the um, Celtic Oracle by Nigel Jackson and Nigel Pennock. And uh, oh, I'm just so excited to finally have my hands on this. Um, it's an Oracle, um, an Oem deck with a few extra cards as well. And I was able to get the corresponding book separately. The book is out of print, but I got it from a, a somewhere overseas that had these reprints and wasn't terribly expensive. I had to order them separately. I don't know if you can still find them together. Maybe you can somewhere. But anyway, really excited. So Yule has come early for me this year. There's no way I was waiting to open open these <laughs> and go through them. And I wanted to share it with you all. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, move my book out of the way. And um, I will show you the, the back of the cards, too. It's a really beautiful. Um, I will say I wish they weren't quite so brightly colored. I do. I think it would have been nice with a sagey or sort of green, but it's not a deal breaker. It's a, a very small minor complaint. Um, so yeah, let's go through the cards. Basically, they're just the, um, the oem in order. So the first card we have is uh, birch, birch tree. We have Lush, the Lady of the Unicorn, Nyan, the World Tree, the Wondrous Head, representing Fjarn. And I will say, um, although I am learning Irish, there's a difference in pronunciation between the modern and the ancient Irish, and I'm not too sure how accurate my pronunciations are, but <laughs> there you have it. Um, then we have the Hawk of May, representing Salia, or Willow. The Flower Maiden, representing Hwas. The Oak King, Dur. Green Knight, representing Chinya, which is a holly. The Nuts of Wisdom, representing Kal, or Hazel. The Island of Apples, representing um, Apple, Quert. And then we have the Harvest Vine, Muon. Ivy, the Ivy Bush. Nettle, the wild hunt. The increaser of secrets, that's strafe. Lush, the daughter of bones. Alum, or pine, lapwing. Own, is queen of the east. Summer Queen is Urd, Queen of the West, Asia, and Isle, the Weaving Sisters. And then, let me go talk about these first. Um, what I thought was really cool about this is that it includes, um, instead of the traditional extra oem, um, you know, like code and, and whatnot, they included instead the four treasures of Ireland, which I was really thrilled about because I do work with these energies. So we have the Sword of Nuada, the Stone of Destiny, the Spear of Lu, and the Cauldron of the Data. And then this card, the White Roebuck, 
represents a sort of spirit energy and is kind of a wild card of sorts, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, and one of the things I really love about this deck too, I mean, it's just the imagery is so intricate and they do in the book, as you can tell, um, <laughs> done quite a bit of reading on it already. And uh, they really go into detail explaining the imagery and why they use the imagery that they did. They talk a little bit about the runic um, markings up on the top. So, yeah, so they're we have it. I can't wait to really start getting into using this deck. I do have other OM decks, but this one is really special and kind of unique, I think. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, dearies. As always, if you did, please leave a comment or give a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and may your holidays be merry and bright. Till next time!